I find this thing with us who begin relationship with the Lord is we decapitate his head from his body in our view of intimacy with God let me explain we kiss the face like Judas and call him friend and plunge the knife in the back of somebody's reputation somebody's life in the church betray trust gossip about other people abuse our spouses hurt our children talk trash about our parents while kissing Jesus on the cheek and think our relationship is always based with a kiss but where knife goes on the back of his back doesn't matter and Jesus is telling Paul he says relationship with me is relationship with the body not with my cheeks See we as charismatics many times we love to spend time in his presence meaning we love his face. We just hate his body. If you want to have a relationship with God do not decapitate his head from his body. Do not separate his face from the rest of his body. That means the way you treat your wife is the way you're going to treat Jesus. The way you treat your kiddos my father listen father is the way you're treating Jesus. The way you treat your spouse is the way you treat Jesus. You can't just have a devotional life and talk trash about other people. You are plunging a knife in his back while kissing his face. And Paul is saying, excuse me? Jesus is saying, I've made my people so dear to me. I actually made them part of me. People are a part. Jesus didn't make us into purses and toys. He made us into members of his body. Like right here he actually has, we are the members of his body and he is the head. That tells me the relationship I must have with the Lord is not just the relationship what I learned about Jesus and I relate to Jesus by praying, worshiping and reading the scriptures which is the kisses on his face. That is so wonderful. I had this problem when we got married. I know that raising my voice against my wife and raising my hand is completely it's it's wrong it's 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 bad it's bad but I I found a loophole when she would do something that brought me discomfort and like really and I just wanted to like like scream or manifest or or do something and I knew it's wrong and I would hold myself I did this thing where I would pinch pinch her I am very embarrassed to admit I would pinch her and I would pinch her so hard that she would vocalize the very feelings I had inside of me. <laughs> I'm not giving any husband's ideas right now. No, no, no. And she would say this, ouch, you're hurting me. And I said, no, I'm just playing with you. She said, excuse me. He said, you're hurting me. But I love her but at the same time I was pinching her side and as I was reading these verses I felt that when I am pinching Jesus yet spending time with Jesus yet married to Jesus but the way I treat people pinches him and many of us would never do what Paul did we will never persecute and kill other people but we find a loophole we like to pinch Jesus and some of your Jesus is screaming out of pain and that's the Jesus we need to discover this morning it's not just the Jesus that loves you it's Jesus you're hurting when you hurt other people you pinch Jesus and it doesn't matter how many kisses you lay on his cheek and it doesn't matter how much of your makeup is left on his cheeks if you are on the side pinching him and stabbing him from the back by the way you relate to your people at your work, to the way you relate to people at your work and the way you talk about other people, the way you knowingly and willfully abuse other people. I want to tell you something today is that your confession that you are saved and he is your savior is great. He will smile back at you Judas and say yes my friend why, why did you come? But remember the relationship that's only based on kisses is very shallow. We have many Judases today who kiss Jesus publicly but stab him privately, pinch him privately 
if you want to know your purpose you must understand that the presence of God is not only the face of God it's the body of God and the way I treat the body is the way I treat the face.